So a couple of people have asked us to do a nighttime walk through Koreleka, so that's what we're going to do. Yep, shout out to Gina and Ian, uh, amongst other people that have asked us to make this video. So we're going to take a walk down Koreleka's main street. Starting from here, we're just at Retro. Retro are open at the moment uh, every night, but I think at the moment without live music, like many places. Yeah. In general, this kind of this part of the main street was a little bit quieter. It's obviously right at the top end, but you'll see later on in this video that when we get down to the other side of the main street, it's uh, generally quite a lot busier. Yeah, we're heading down through the main street, and we're also going to cover Calle Iglesia, the old town, and go through there to show you what it's like too. Yeah, and Music Square as well. You might have seen in uh, one of our previous videos, the Main Street Walk in the daytime, that we mentioned the new Fuerte food truck that actually, ironically, wasn't there when we did the last Main Street Walk. Well, I noticed that it was there tonight, so uh, I'm going to take you around here and you'll see the Fuerte food truck coming up just now. Looks really nice. Yep, they do food and drinks and I've heard that they're going to do live music when it's back, when live music is allowed to return. Yeah, because currently in Coralejo, uh, the north of the island, we're not allowed to have live music at the minute. Which is a bit of a shame, but let's hope that soon the rules change because they're changing every week. Mm. And that is just for the north of the island. I think in Puerto Rosario, it's okay to have live music and the clubs are open until later as well down there. So we're coming up to Las Palomeras on the left here. We're just going to take a little look over here. Obviously it's night time, it's uh, in general quite a lot quieter than it would be during the day. But as we said in our previous Main Street video during the day, everything there seems to be the same as before Covid, not many things have changed. Burger King, don't know why the light was off, maybe they didn't pay the electric bill, but there they are. It was actually quite awkward filming this video when there's so many people around on the main street. It was actually one guy in this moment. So far, yeah. Just wait. So we're walking past all these clothes shops that uh, in the daytime, they're obviously open as you see in our Main Street video during the day. But uh, this was filmed at around about 9.45pm on a Sunday evening. Ibadina looks very bright mate. Mm, yeah, they Jesus. Are. they've uh, probably paid a bit too much on their electric bit of anything. <laughs> a bit of live music there. Illegal. Someone arrest him. <laughs> yeah, I took a wide angle from him because I know that live music uh, was a possibility of catching COVID. So. Yeah, super spreader sitting there yeah. on that bench. Yeah. You're actually using the camera's defence. Yeah. Okay, weren't you? That's yeah, why you point course, that out. Yeah. So coming past the Kalkshire Bank, which is the turning for bars like Anchor Still, the old Swan, Jaipur down there as well, really nice. All of those are still open in this moment as well. Yeah. We love a bit of Jaipur. We do. We did our top five takeaways and we didn't mention them because we thought they're more of like a restaurant. At least for us, we don't usually get yeah. takeaway from there, but they're great. I think that guy just smacked you with his link scooter, yep, David. Yeah, nearly crashed into me with his link scooter. They're causing uh, quite a lot of controversy, these link scooters. I've heard that they're only so far 
they're only on a three month trial so there is still a chance that they might be they might be cancelled and they might not actually go ahead but I do think that um, when tourism returns there could be quite a lot of accidents with them there's already people like doubling down like two people in one yeah people going really fast yeah it's, um, race. and especially the pavements here are not completely flat no. in most places Although I was debating getting on one of those scooters to film this video. Just to speed up the process, you know. So down here on our right, there's a new restaurant that we absolutely love called El Patio de Rincón. I don't know if we mentioned it in our... No, we haven't mentioned it before, no. It's a really nice restaurant. Uh, Argentinian, they do amazing meat. And it's new and it's a really nice atmosphere there. They've done a great job. We'll be making a video about top five restaurants or at least five recommendations from us uh, that we'll do in the future. Yeah, so let us know if anything, if there's anything you like, you want us to try out. Yeah, so we just walked past that restaurant now. I don't actually know which one's that Latasca. one. Latasca. Yeah, uh, Latasca, no? Yeah. Yeah, and that was quite busy actually for a Sunday night. It was really busy in there. And Rod Cafe, which is open once again. So have a little look in here. But again, they're open without live music at the moment, just food and drinks. starting to get busier on the street now so I'm uh, nervously walking quicker and I wanted to take you down here to have a little look if seven pints was open because we've had a couple of people commenting about seven pints before now Those people must have think must have thought you were really weird. Yeah. Just filming down a really dark really street. Picking up the place. Behind them like yeah. And as you can see, it is all in darkness. Seven pints is not open. This whole kind of little area down here. The only place that was open was spices. They're the only ones that paid their electric bill. Yeah, the only ones that have paid the electric bill they are. Really bad of like most of the uh, businesses in Coral are just really bad at paying the electric bill. But there's seven pints there on the left, uh, so they're not open yet. But I've heard rumours that they're gonna be coming back in the next week or two. Got a part we should speed up, potentially. Yeah. Should we take some turbo sauce? <laughs> <laughs> Nitro on. Jesus Christ. Must have chipped over my flip flops there. <laughs> Back in the main street. Yeah, all the souvenir shops across the road there are open for business around about 9.45 on a Sunday evening. Looking down towards the Waikiki Street on our right hand side here. There's another new bar down there actually. It's an Irish bar called Kerry's. Mm. Uh, which is a very, very cheap. It's really cheap in there. I've been a few times and I really like it down there. And McCarthy's has moved down there as well. Yeah, that is a new location of McCarthy's, which is where the Anchor used to be, which was McCarthy's sister restaurant. And Robin's Nest. And Robin's Nest as well. So Oriental's there, La Freddy's Shisha Bar, really good in there as well. They do good burgers there. I always find La Freddy's, well, I found it before I went there, I thought it was a little bit like intimidating because it's like a shisha place, but it's, they're really, really nice people and they do great food and it's really relaxed. Right? Yeah, well, relaxed is a stretch. It's you like don't have to do the shisha, you just go in for a drink and the, the, the owners there are lovely. Yeah. So when Pepe opened on our left, they were quite busy as well. Which is probably why I didn't film so much of them because I didn't really want to get in people's faces whilst they're eating their dinner. Um, here's me trying to navigate the traffic whilst telling you about Citrus that is up this road. Citrus is still open for business and doing really well. As we said, Sanus up there as well, great restaurant. So it's getting a bit busier down on this main sort of strip. But still not overcrowded really. Definitely less busy than 
creek over to this point in this in this area. Yeah, I mean it was when I was filming. I was thinking it was, was one of the busiest nights I've seen recently, actually. But I think I was so nervous that I've tried to avoid large crowds wherever I've gone. Well, you've done terrible in this moment. Yeah, it's not great. Danny Sport open there. It's because at this point, like I mean, in general, always it was like this. Like this area of town is where it starts getting busier. Yeah. Up the other end, like there's not tons of people. Yeah, we're heading towards the cafeterias that are open till late, like that's Amore on our left and Maze and Alma are coming up on our right as well. So these kind of areas are a little bit more busier. And just on the right hand side here is going to be the new bar that is going to be the sister, uh, sister bar of the Smith's Arms. So the Smith's Arms is uh, a really good English bar that's just off the main street near the Shell petrol station. They're going to open a second bar just next to Mays here on the main street, next door but one to Mays. Love the Smith's Arms. Yep, they're going to be opening this week I've heard, so um, we'll, we'll check that out and let you know about that new bar. We've just gone past Rock Island which is opposite on the left. Uh, great place for live music, as we say. There's no music at the minute. But uh, as soon as it's back, make sure to check out Rock Island Bar. It's a great place. Rock Island Bar is a really nice atmosphere with the low lighting anyway. Nice place to have a drink regardless whether the music's on or not. Yeah. Uh, we've had a couple of comments on our videos as well about Gin and Tonic, which is the bar that we're coming up to on the left here. It's next to the Pinchos as well. These two are both new since the pandemic. Uh, we need to check out Gin and Tonic. Uh, gin Tonic. Gin Tonic. Gin Tonic. And uh, the Pinchos we really like as well. Love the Pinchos. And uh, we did actually go to Gin Tonic and uh, we ordered a hot chocolate. Mm. We need to try the gin next time. But that's just how rock and roll we are. So here's me trying to squeeze past some people. Vintage on our left as well. Vintage, really nice bar. Like it in there. We made the run for it past on the left hand side. Legs in. Yeah. So we're coming up to the Atlantico Commercial Centre. Down there is where you may see loads of crowds gathering on Facebook videos and stuff that's been circling around at the moment. Um, Kiwi really, really busy at this moment in time, especially outside on that on that uh, pavement bit down there. And we're heading towards up here. You can see Flix Bar. This is the karaoke bar that I work at, at the top floor of the commercial centre. Really, really good vibe up there. I love it. And uh, in this moment in time, the commercial centre as a whole. Uh, have to close at 12 o'clock like all bars and restaurants and cafes here we have to close at 12 o'clock so the commercial centre for that reason is struggling a little bit at the moment but um, yeah really really good place if you're looking for karaoke check out Flix Bar but at the minute karaoke is not, not on at the yeah we had a comment about that the other day yeah, at the moment karaoke is not possible but hopefully if we go down a couple of phases it'll be possible again also up there we should mention Persia Disco Star and the reflex as well and jukebox. There's the new Deja Vu. It was there before called Deja Vu but now it's like extended and bigger and they've upgraded everything. It looks really nice. They do great octopus and, lo and lots of like tapas. Nice environment. So the last Main Street video we did is, uh, this is where we ended, but for this nightlife one, the nighttime walk, we're going to continue down here towards the Music Square and into Calle Inglésias as well. So we're coming up to the Music Square. Music Square is a great, great place to hang out, but at the minute, no live music, which is a bit of a shame, but still usually quite busy at night, isn't it? Yeah, as, you, as you're about to see, I do a little pan around here. Um, everyone was looking at me. I felt a bit awkward about it, but I uh, got over it and just did it anyway. It's, it's quite busy, even without music, quite busy here. And Pescador on the left there and no music on the stage there. 
So there's the hamburger Picasso place. It used to be that, didn't it? Now it's called. Now it's. Uh, La Placita? Yeah. I think. La Placita is a new bar on our left over there. That's what? it there. Look at these bars here. And then in front of us, going down this little alleyway, we have the. What's the name of it? The pizza place. Uh, I'm not entirely sure, but Trattoria? I was there. Yes, Trattoria. Yeah. Yes, and I was there, there eating pizza on the. They have a little rooftop balcony here. And I was eating pizza there the other day and uh, really, really recommend it. Love it there. Yeah, they have uh, new owners and new food. It looks great. I haven't actually been since they've changed over, but I need to go because they've had really good things. The rooftop terrace is really nice as well around about sunset time when you're eating. These restaurants are great as well. You've got the Hamon place there. Yes. What's the name of it again? I can't really bad with the names of my things. New bar on our right over here since the pandemic as well that is called Waterfall. That's just on the right here. And very busy in the old town most nights though. Mm, yeah. And again normally they would have a bit of live music in the middle of the old town, but at the moment of course that again is all cancelled. There's pepperoni pizza, we love it there as well. Great pizza. We put those in our top five takeaways that uh, you can watch that video as well on our channel. On past cactus and on the left, Bougainville, they're two great places with really good vibe, like cactus all green with cactuses. Cacti. And uh nice. was it Bougainville is really cool, like kinda of like Indian vibe, very pink, mm. it's very unique. Oscar. And that, yeah, Vegan Village is the opposite cactus and next to Tapas Oscar. Tapas Oscar really busy. At one point, uh, when you couldn't have people sit indoors, they put loads of chairs outside and the whole street yeah. was rammed. It was really cool. Yeah, and just on the right down there, you're going down to Buena Onda, which is still open. This is a new place here. So this is the first time I saw it was last night when I was out recording this. I'm not entirely sure of the name, but this is it. This is brand new, isn't it? On our left. Yeah, I don't know. What's, I'm not sure what it's called. That was the first time I saw it when I was out recording this. Monosabios on our right and Cafe Blanco down there. We love Cafe Blanco as well, a really cool place. And a shout out as well to Blue Rock on the right hand side here. There's Blue Rock still open for business. Now we did, fo we did film more footage but what happened? I don't know what happened, but the GoPro cut it off, so now we're yeah. left in the dark. So we're left in the dark, but at this point, we just want to remind you to like and subscribe to our channel if you want more content around Coralejo. And check out our video of the main street in the daytime. We're going to put it on the screen now, and you can find that. Compare daytime and nighttime on the main street. And yeah, let us know what you think. Let us know any videos you want to see in the future. As always, thank you for watching, guys. We'll see you soon.